The Beyond Planet Earth Space Exhibition is timely right now because humanity is at a crossroads with respect to where we're going to go and what we're going to do in space. For the first 25 years of the space program, we were focused on getting a man to the moon. The next 25 years were largely spent building the space shuttle, building the International Space Station, and understanding what happened to people when they spent long periods of time in weightlessness. We know those answers, and those programs have now come to an end. We really need to look forward and try to decide collectively, as a society, all of humanity, where we're going to go next, what we're going to be doing next. And that's what this exhibition looks at. When you get to the moon, or step off on the moon in the exhibition, you'll see an elevator coming off the moon. This is a way of leaving the moon without rockets. You'll also see an enormous liquid mirror telescope. We could build a telescope on the moon that would be almost a mile across. We could observe in the infrared and in the ultraviolet parts of the spectrum, which are inaccessible to ground-based telescopes. We would also be doing mining on the moon, processing rare minerals. After leaving the moon, we'll take you on a voyage to an asteroid. Perhaps the single most reason they're interesting is because they're dangerous to us. The question for all of these asteroids is not, will they run into Earth? It's really, when will they crash into Earth? We're almost at the place in terms of our capabilities, our technological capabilities, that we're going to be able to deflect an asteroid. The other thing we want to be able to do is mine asteroids. Asteroids contain rare earth elements that are needed both for industrial production on Earth and for producing spaceships to travel between the planets and eventually out to the stars. Going to Mars is much more difficult than going to the Moon. It takes up to a year to get there if you use a least energy orbit from the Earth to Mars. We have a wonderful new Mars rover on exhibition, the Mars Curiosity rover, which is being launched in November 2011, and we'll get to Mars in the late summer of 2012. We do eventually want to send humans to Mars because a human can accomplish in a day what it will take a spacecraft or a robot perhaps a year to do. We look up at the stars and we wonder, what are they? Why are they there? Uh, and because we wondered, because astronomers and others worked on those problems, we understand today far better how the universe works. And just as we went from the Nina and Pinta and Santa Maria to the Space Shuttle and the International Space Station, we're going to go, I'm convinced, out to the stars. Astronomers are now developing the roadmap. Three or four or five centuries from now, when we have the technologies to go to the stars, we will know which stars to go to the ones that have the most interesting and most Earth-like planets.